we're now ready to take care of our video. The first video here, this is straight video, I want to render this as video. So let's first take a look at our save as options in here. And if you look down the list, you'll notice we don't have any video formats in here. That's because you can't save as a video. You have to export to the video format. So we'll be using the export function and there it is, render video right there. Let's bring this up. We can choose what kind of video we want to be working with. We can choose our folder. Actually, we want to be in DVD3 and materials here. There we go. We'll render this as the AVI format and then simply click on render. It will then render this using whatever settings you have in here to render that video. You'll then have the video in that format, whatever format you choose. Notice we have a few options to choose from. 3G, which is a mobile phone style, FLC, flick file, QuickTime, movie, AVI, digital video. You can make an image sequence if you want to or an MPEG-4. So you have different options in here for exporting your video. So that's what you would use, render video, if you want to take this out as a video file and then use that video file someplace else. The other option, the other type of film here, or video rather, is our animated film using the frame by frame animations. In this case, the use for this will be on a web page. I'll be using this as a web page as opposed to using this as a video. So what I want here is a web format that will work for me. And one web format is an animated GIF file. So we can then save this to the animated GIF file format and then use it on a web page. So let's go up here to File and Save for Web and Devices. Click on that. Here's our four up options. Let's just change this to two up. Now the format that we need for saving it to an animation for a web is the GIF format. So let's go here to the GIF format. We can set our colors. I'll leave this at 256. And we can then preview that and see how this looks. Now there's a preview button right just, just below screen right here. It's preview button. I'll click on that preview button. This will bring this image up in a browser window. Here we go. And you can see right over here, here is the animation. There's that fade up right there. And there's that change over. Of course, we had it set to run three times, so it should loop around. There it is. Text fades up. Our text down below here will fade up. There it is. And it will then cut to that next slide, which is the Buy Now option. So there's our little web-based animation. As you can see, it, it's a simple process. The actual animation is saved right into the web file, in the GIF file format right there. I'll just go ahead and I'll click on done and close that down. So that would that is how you would then save the two different file formats. For the a video format like this, you would use file export render video and choose your settings. If you are saving a video for use on a web page, especially for things like our, our little banner ad right down here, then what you want to do is to go and use the save for web and devices and use the GIF setting right there. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com. You can share this video with your friends and coworkers. Just click on share and then click on the social media buttons. Feel free to comment on my videos. I try to answer all comments as quickly as I can. And finally, you can get all of my training videos on DVD at howtogurus.com. Thanks again for watching.